Now, the rest of the story. Julia Elizabeth Wells grew up with war. She was not yet four when her homeland got into the fighting. A year later, Hitler began hurling bombs at London. Little Liz was living with her mother and stepfather in one of the worst of that city's slums. When her parents began earning more money, they all moved a step up to Beckenham, and they were happy there. The Nazi bombing had even begun to taper off. But then, in 1944, when little Liz was eight, a new threat zoomed out of the southern sky. Doodle bugs, uh, the British called them, pilotless aircraft carrying heavy explosives, and about the time they reached southeast England, they ran out of gas and spun in and blew up. The British countered with every defensive measure they could think of. Fighters, anti-aircraft guns, barrage balloons, and of course bombing the German launching sites, and still the dreadful doodle bugs uh, took their toll. Air raid shelters were everywhere, and the community of Beckenham was no different. Little Liz, bedecked with whistle and opera glasses, was the appointed neighborhood lookout. She took her job seriously. For some reason, folks in Beckenham didn't pay much attention to the official air raid warnings, but they listened to Liz. The explosions could be nerve-shattering. The challenge was to stay calm. But how? Well, one night when the bombs were falling... Liz's stepdad raised his rich tenor voice to lead a community sing. Everyone sang, including little Liz, especially little Liz. In fact, the eight-year young girl sang with such gusto and spanning such an incredible range of pitch that one by one the others in the shelter stopped singing to listen. And they listened in awe. One might imagine a child of her age singing an octave above the grown-ups. Not Liz. Oh, my goodness. She sang as high as two octaves higher than the others, and so forcefully that Hitler's hardware sounded puny by comparison. Innumerable nights, little Liz cheered her Beckenham neighbors, mesmerizing them with what seemed her superhuman voice. It wasn't long before her amazed mother took the child to a throat specialist for an examination. The specialist agreed the little girl's voice was, quote, as developed as that of an adult, provided the adult could sing through four octaves with the power of a hurricane. And so began a career that the world will not ever forget. Oh, it led that little girl to London's Hippodrome and to Manhattan's Broadway and to Hollywood stardom. But it all started in an air raid shelter in Beckenham. Little Liz was their blessing first and ours ever since. Little Julia Elizabeth Wells, who later took her stepfather's name. And by the way, his name was Ted Andrews. Yes. You know his stepdaughter as Julie Andrew. Now you know the rest of the story.